Okay, so this is my super quick uh, manual pollinization of tomato flower trick. Um, so you might see your tomato flowers looking like this. And this is the perfect flower right here. It's got the little cone, the pollen's in the top. You, uh, vibrations from bees or wind breaks it loose and it falls down onto that little tip internally inside that cone. You don't have to see it happen. All you do is spank your flowers every day. Every day, every time you see them. That's all you gotta do. Every flower, even the ones that are almost a little less yeller. Hey, it's okay. There might be some pollen there. Blah, 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 blah. Spank your flower every time you see them. Does this work? Well, I don't know. I'll take you over to the garden and let's see how my technique works. Okay, so this is the big garden and it's not that big. So I do have the time and the ability to come through every day. And blah, 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 blah. anytime I come through doing suckers or anything, oh, spank the flower. Blah, 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 blah. Spank a flower, spank a flower. Uh, does it work? Well, I've been spanking flowers from the beginning on these little clusters and you tell me. So it's still making new flowers. I don't know if there's bees or not. Don't care. I do it myself every day. Does it work? I don't know. You guys tell me. It's been working for me, I guess. Every time, I mean, I just... And that's all you need. You don't necessarily hate bees. All right, have fun.